Crouch bind. Oh, I'm missing a lot. Here we go. Full counter. Woo! That was good. It's true that you cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Oh, right. Windows higher than the barometer. I, I think I get where this is going. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. Yep. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. Mm -hmm. The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. That's a good point, actually. Elmo is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Come on, again with this? Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. <laughs> nice. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. How could they get it? You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? Yeah, but the ladder was inside the gym. No, I don't think that method is possible because... The ladder can be moved, there was no time to move it, the ladder doesn't reach the window. That's it! the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage if you use the ladder on the pool side it would, it would not make quite. It. yeah that's the thing that's the thing isn't it the ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage and there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage yep finally the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Then they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gonta used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. Gentlemen not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. All right. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. True. Very true, actually. Got it, muscle head. Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Oof. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Ha! <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Wow. Coming from you, that's an insult. That. But of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. Tell him, Shuichi. Uh, I, uh, actually don't know that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, mission failed. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. The culprit definitely moved the body through the window. Yeah. But I don't know how. Nigga, there does anyone Seriously? else. Made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. Thieves just need to shut up and take their licks. What are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. Calm down, Kaito. I know. I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am, am, I, am I no good as a detective? I can't do this. I can't. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. Yeah. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Maybe the pool? Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yeah. Yes. That 
That's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> That's true. Kokichi, you probably already figured the whole case and you're just like, <laughs> I'm not going to tell them because they're fucking idiots. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, culprit is someone in this room. Really, Gonta? That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage the trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move huh? in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. Oh. Kimiko, what kind of past did you have? If we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. All right, I don't like that phrase. The trial has only just begun. Um, yeah, I might reach a little. Wow, wow. Feel bad for Chuichi. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. All right. Uh. First, let's establish the crime scene. All right, the crime scene was the pool. Nope. Wait a minute. I heard something important. Let me hear it again. There it is. That's oh my god. I didn't even notice the first time I played the class trial. That additional part to discussion heat up. That did not appear now. The cause of death was drowned. My God, that came from day R three. Collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Wow, really? Toilets? Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. Okay. Well, it must be the pool then. Now that little turd drowned in the toilet. <laughs> that little turd drowned. Ouch! Why is that an agree point? The cause of death is a certainty. Ryoma drowned in water. The pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my doubts. All right. No, I missed. There we go. Oh my god, I suck at this. I my aim is awful. I wish I had I wish I had Mahiru's uh, special skill. Yes, this was another reference to the R2. Mahiru's special skill when you finish her free time events gives you auto aim. That's fantastic. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. What? What? What is this? Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. <laughs> Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Wait a minute. What what game this what year did this game came out? To uh, 2017, right? Oh my god. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Where was Ryoma killed? I don't I know there's some kind of clue. <sighs> again, not again. Oh, 
the sink. This is it. The sink. That's it. The sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink. I'm hearing something. Oh, it's from the music. All right. And I believe those scratches. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Hold on. Alright, fortunately I don't think you guys can hear what's going on outside, so that's good. The the handcuffs, probably. This is it! There we go. Got two of them right in a row. That... They were scratched as well, correct? Oh well, yeah. Sort of looked like they've been scraped against something. The sink. There's also the fact that the handcuffs. <gasps> someone, around. someone, someone like used the handcuffs on his hands to prevent him from escaping, right? The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs. I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ayama was wearing them, right? Yep. Yep. Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. I will fucking murder you. Disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. No crunching texture with the body parts just right. Oh. Then when they oh god. Kokichi, stop! Stop, please. Thanks! But how did Culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. Though there's no way we can be sure now that he's not but bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by. Ah, whoops. Don't pay attention to Lulu me. I'm just talking to myself. Tokichi, spill it out. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Yo, Tsumugi! Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. What's wrong with you? So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Riona's fucking research lab. But how did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? It's actually pretty easy. Isn't Riona's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? The window! There. It's all coming together! The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. Yeah. How's that? Mission complete. Not even close. It contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. True. That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. We keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Are you sure? 
Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got to the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how to get to the from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then, I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. When you have to deduce how things are connected, Psyche Taxi will start up. The objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. Is this this game's version of, um... Is this this game's version of, uh, Logic Dive? I think it is. Use the A button to accelerate, and the left analog stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you've completed the question, you head toward the escort that has the right and the correct answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong an answer, something bad happens. Do I, like, <laughs> run them over or something? Jesus. That's dark. Anyways. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, you will take focus energy damage. If it's getting dangerous, use RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely, enjoy the ride. Please respond at your earliest convenience. Psyche Taxi starred! Alright, let's see what we got. This seems interesting. I don't know how this... Wow, <laughs> this is... This is literally like... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> but it is kind of fun. <laughs> it controls pretty smoothly. At least so far. The sound of the turning is a bit... Uh, obnoxious, but I can get used to it. Alright. The body was... was brought from where? Oh, I got them all, nice. The body was brought from where? Thinking... what is this? Alright, where was the body brought from? Uh, the lab window? It's, it's gotta be this. There we go. <laughs> what is this? This this is ridiculous. Hold on, I need I need to concentrate a little. Whew, all right. Let's go. Phase two, I guess. Next question. This is such an abnormal mini game. Such an ab yeah. This is really abnormal. I just like Shuichi's little sprite just dangling when you when you turn your car. It's so, it's so ridiculous. I do like the minigame though. I think I preferred Logic Dive mainly because it was a little more challenging, if anything. Maybe I shouldn't speak so openly about challenging stuff. We all know that I suck at video games. Here we go. We got all of them. The body was brought to the gym from where? It, it's gotta be the window, right? Thinking time. time. Alright, let's see. Yeah, the gym window. Because if, he, if they entered through the door, it would be impossible. <laughs> this is so weird! <laughs> this is completely ridiculous! Alright, next question. Huh? This reminds me a lot of Mario Kart, if anything. Oh, there are the other cards that the game was talking about. Oh, this is just weird. The, f the funny part is that this is happening inside of Shuichi's head. <laughs> Jesus. Oh? Ouch! I took damage! That hurt. A lot. Out of the way, Slowpoke! How was it? How was it moved from the... Was that Monokuma? Oh right, there are hidden Monokumas in this game, aren't there? 
How is it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? Okay. Okay, this is this one is gonna be important. Thinking time, alright. Let's decelerate this time. From window to window via the pool. I'm gonna try via the pool because I don't know. No, I ran them over. Yay! And so it's from window to window. Oh boy, I suck, don't I? There it is, and boom. So, it was brought from the- oh, right. I should have guessed. It connects. it connects! This is ridiculous, but I kinda like it. I've got it. Yomo's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Oh, how? Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. Ha! References. No, I don't believe he was thrown. Perhaps another way. Another way. You care to explain what this convenient ass way would be? What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The equipment must have used some kind of equipment. Okay, what would it be? Equipment? With this equipment, we can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Alright. Equipment to connect the windows. I believe I, it was found near the body. I'm gonna say because it's probably gonna be a selection. I do like this- I do like the class trial music, again. Alright, let's see- OH THE ROBE! There. THERE IT IS! The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, Oh. But the next morning, the rope has been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? Yeah. So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. So it's... yeah, it, it reaches. It definitely reaches. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Yep, it reaches. The sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. And pool is only through between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Fuck off. Wait, who said that? Don't ask. Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. True. Was it? I'm pretty sure there was another. There we go, the tennis net cable! Oh, it impossible. impossible. No worries, Gonta. Now I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something they could that could be used that be used as a rope. Where is it? The tennis net cable. This is it! Okay, I'm I'm cruising through right now. That's good. How long is it? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so. All right, let's let's see. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. Yeah. Oh. Then tie cable to other window. Then tie both of them together. Yep. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Yeah. That helped culprit make one rope that reached both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. 
It's nothing. You're going to use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Yeah, I imagine. They did connect the windows with a rope. They can't carry a body on just that. True. Eureka! I got it! Oh, you. What is it? Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! You get it. Cough, cough, Tesla. Tesla was right. They can cut the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! The body really? would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. <laughs> oh, the, the scuffle between these two is amazing! <laughs> okay, then. Oh! <laughs> I just got two movies comments. That is not feasible with just one row. What what did Angie say? They had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it. Okay. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. I mean we discussed that before. We wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You are definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha plant. Piranha tank. Piranha plant! Plant gang! Oh, whatever. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. <clears throat> they would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? Even with the rope. All that we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body and were close to, and were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have used something else. But what could? What would that be? What could I have done? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm sorry if I'm saving a little too much this time, but... Alright, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. What? What? Oh! Listen up! Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial! Really? It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. And then together, we're gonna save everyone! Together? You got this! After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm gonna leave the rest to you. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think, come on, think! Eggman's Gambit? Yep! I don't... Okay. Let's think. What did the culprit fashion to move the body between the windows? Alright. Oh, I got I got the first one right. Uh, uh between the ropes. We got to think. We have to think. Alright, it's either gonna be an E or an O, right? Alright, let's try now. Oh, got it! So, rope! Oh! The first four letters are... Alright, rope... A rope gun? No.
Let's try a double. Oh? Oh my god, really? I'm getting it right? What is this nonsense? So it's gonna be an A, right? <gasps> Ropeway! There we go! I didn't even know! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be completely transparent. I have no idea what that was. I still don't, actually. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. What did he use? What did the culprit use? I don't know, I don't know! Shuichi, stop asking difficult questions! I'm sorry again, I know I'm saving too much, but it's because I'm afraid of, of losing it right now. What is this? What is this? In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind, mind, mind will begin. In this mode, the, object, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the left analog stick to move the cursor and erase the pieces with the A button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. The adjacent pieces will, cha will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. Okay, so from white to pink to pink, from pink to yellow, from yellow to white. All right. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. Oh, it's always the influence gauge. Always. Always the influence gauge, whatever. If there's just one piece left, you can press the A button to re repeatedly to break it. But that will incur a time penalty, so don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get you, you'll get it as you play it. Thank you for your understanding. These minigames sound like a lot of fun, actually. Alright, let's start. Alright. Nice! Yeah, I really like this sort of game, actually. Okay, let's see what we got. We need something that the culprit used to ride across the ropeway, alright. Oh, I have a lot of them to fulfill. Alright. I think this is the one. Nope, it isn't. Okie dokie. The ladder. Oh! Oh, the tube. Alright. There we go. The tube. That makes sense. I see it. I see it. This has a lot of mini games, actually. A lot of mini games. It's the inner tube, the rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. The inner tube. Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? <gasps> oh. Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. Right. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. Physics! The tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. There we go. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Wow. That's kind of impressive Once actually. The gym window. The culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that or the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Makes sense. Say the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Isn't that against school rules? All right. If if the kill if the culprit placed the feet on the wind their foot on the window sill, they would be inside the gym, right? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Yes. 
last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Oh! Eh? You just spoiled yourself. It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Way to put your foot in your mouth. You fucking retard. What? Let us be just an inch his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke if you do keep right freaking now, out about it. on the threshold. <laughs> Then your little slip-up is actually the truth! P pops <laughs> Wanakuma is very disappointed in you! Oh, well. Daddy's mad at you now! It's disappointment, Manafani, not mad! Don't look at me! This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time! Stop! Do not bully Monosuke. Huh? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. I want us all to get along. Monodem's right. Monosuke, you better thank Monodem. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? Oh, God. Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip-up? Tokichi, shut! But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So the culprit really used ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy-ass shit! Yeah! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily, you just had to... <laughs> oh my god! Stop! Exactly. All See? All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Exactly. And toss it into Tossing the gym? the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! Why we found it there! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? True. Oh, they couldn't get in there. It was an accident? An accident? They couldn't get in there. Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. I mean, it happens, so not so much of a stretch. The, culprit leave it in the, pool? the reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. Ah, oh, it was night time. They can't get into the pool if it's night time. Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at night time. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming, swimming is, is prohibited! Yay! One more point for logic! But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? I mean, yeah, now that Not I think about it. Whoa? You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope... Oh, they would have fallen. Yep. The steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. It'd be different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even All right. if the inner tube was closer to pool edge, water is still too low to drag tube in. I still don't get why the water level is so low. Yeah. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Oh, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. You knew Shuichi was lying. Shut up. 
Thanks. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a rope way. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. Stop. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Yeah. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. Come on. My psychic here is on a roll right now. So <laughs> let him take this one. Well, I'll be right back. I hear I have, it's a potty break. I know, I know. I don't have time to do this, but I can, I can hold it on anymore. So. <gasps> Actually, I can't hold it in anymore. Proper grammar, people. I'll be right back. We're back. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. All right, so we have to find out who the culprit is. Why did I open the monopad when I wanted to see the transcript? Yeah. Now we just need to figure out who the culprit is, exactly. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Oof. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. I gotta be honest, I do too. But I don't want to believe it. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. Dude, this guy- Oh my god, this guy's a total fucking bro. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. Let's do this. Believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have been- Would have had to have been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows the list, of, the list of suspects. There is only one person. <sighs> Please tell me I'm wrong. Please, for the love of uh, for the love of God, tell me I'm wrong. It has to be you. I'm right. Damn it. There's one more thing I still have to confirm, but Kirumi is the prime suspect. Me. Mm -hmm. What? K Kirumi? Oh, so Kirumi is the culprit. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. All right. I do believe it's her. She was the only one who had alone time in the gym. I, of course, am not the culprit. Crime was committed at night. All right. An alibi for night time? I believe most of us do not have it. True. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. What? Do you think you would fall for such nonsense? A trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Could All right. Be. That could have been done by anyone. All right. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. What? She and Ryoma could have totally shared an interview. We all could have. Okay. Except perhaps don't. To force Kurumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I just have to stay calm and find it. Alright. Let's see. Let me see. Kurumi. Alright. Was in the gym until a little before 9 p.m. Okay. Let's go. Let's try, please. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? Right. An alibi for night time? 
All right. Actually, we do. Most of us have an alibi. I believe most of us. No, they. We don't actually. Yeah, that's true. True. I have no alibi for nighttime, but the others do not have alibis either. The reason that reasoning is too shallow to justify being suspicious of me. Okay. Okay. Let's not panic. We still got this. I need to. I need to think. Alright, think. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think you would fall for such nonsense? I need to think. I need to think. It's strictly wide and complex mechanisms to work. Need someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. It's gotta be this. That could have been done by anyone. Kurumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared in Inazuki! Oh wait, insect meeting greet. Maybe it's this. We all could have, except perhaps going to. Alright, let's try again. I'm pretty sure that's the one with the with the alibi. I'm not sure though. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. It's not, damn it! Am I really stuck in this? I got no time to be stuck in this, and I have really low health. I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable about this. Okay. True, okay, now that I think about it. Alright. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an interview. We all could have, except perhaps don't. <sighs> I'm stuck. I need to think. All right, uh, I'll be right back, guys. I'm sorry. All right, I've been thinking ab about the um, the arguments that everyone was making, and I can't seem to find anything. I know it has to be either insect meeting greet or alibis for yesterday. I really thought it was the first sentence. Maybe it isn't. Let's try again. I, of course, am not the culprit. I knew Kokichi asked us to store those because they were going to be important for later on, but I don't know where to apply them. I believe most of us do not have them. All right. Yeah. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such an Let's try again. Wait. Oh! Why here? Uh, okay, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care at this point. <gasps> oh, right! The only person who could have prepared because she was in the gym alone. Opening the window. Oh my god. Yep, I'm gonna catch the bus after the one I thought I would. Not that I particularly care, honestly. Yeah, I guess that's true. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. 
Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. Yeah. This is my selfless devotion. Oh, rebuttal showdown. Let's go. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. Ooh. An empty theory created from nihilism. Wow, Kirumi. Kind of scary, honestly. But let's do this. All right, met marked window frame. It's probably the if oh that. Only the rope and partition. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. All right. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. Advance. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the road. Now, with that road, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Oh! In other words, it is just a guess. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. Okay, this is the conclusion we reach together. It's not just a guess. It is not... I am referring to the rope. No. I am referring to the rope. Oh, it's a marked window frame. Okay, here we go. Uh, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window, but there is no evidence. <laughs> there we go. I'll cut through your words. I'll cut through your words. Gotta go fast, Kirumi. And you didn't go fast enough. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym in the lab. Those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Yep. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Yeah, I can imagine. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the window cell. Oh? Hello? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh. What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Is Kirumi quiet because cause that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi! Shuichi is doing this for your sake! If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that! Because I must do this for everyone! Kirumi? For everyone? Have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. They? What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Oh? Someone outside of the academy? Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive? Oh? Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Sure. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me. But I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. Oh, she's pulling the Kaede card. Okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay, I can see where this is going. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. 
So please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. I have been in a situation like this before, all right? Remind yourselves of 2 3. That's all I'm gonna say. Kokichi isn't the culprit. <laughs> How rude. How rude. Just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Me neither, but. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Oh. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. Yeah. You really are screwed up. I mean, I don't want to believe what he's saying, but I've played the other games, all right. I I have seen enough betrayals to know when one has taken place. Screwed up from head to toe, even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. Okay. Okay, I see where this is going. He to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. What a way to- can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As yes. the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. Yes. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when you determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls in the Oh, oh the fabric! The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. It's gotta be the fabric. Won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? He's not desperate, alright? You think he's enjoying this? Especially after what happened with Kaede. Do you really think he's fucking enjoying this, Kirumi? Do you? Do you? Don't you want to protect everyone? That's why he's doing this. Doing this yes. I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. And you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. Ooh. You can't save anyone. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. A piece of fabric that was floating in the pool. At first glance, it looked like trash. This is it. fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Yep. Because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. That? How would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Oh. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Kirumi, don't do this to me. Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? 
There is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. Black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Yeah. Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Oh? Argument armament! Oh god, I'm not prepared for this. You are oh, I'm not prepared. Alright, let me just adjust my chair. Let me <laughs> just adjust my whole setup. Whew. Here we go. I last time I didn't do so bad at this, but at the same time I like flunked it at some points. <sighs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I suck at this. You are incorrect. I suck. You continue to confuse everyone. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Here we go. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self righteous truth. Oh, God. This class trial. Everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self righteous truth. This is hard. This is actually pretty hard. Oops. Everyone's life is at stake. Nice. Next. I completely understand your reason. Oops. Oops. Oof. Oh, this is hard. Oops. I know that's supposed to be annoying me. Oops. Ouch. This is hard. There we go. Final blow. Okay. That piece of trash prove. He grew these gloves. <sighs> oh my god. came from Kirumi's black glove. What the hell is argument armament about? <sighs> Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? Yeah. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. Oh boy. You can so test my gear. Comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <laughs> huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Kirumi, what's wrong? It really was her. In the end, we just like them. I'm revealed. I'm scared of revealing the truth. 
Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things with the, she thought things through to the end. I faced the truth. I doubted and doubted it, and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Here we go. Climactic reasoning. Closing argument start. I love this so much. All right, Brian. This is hard. The evidence made of metal of metal the piranhas didn't eat. I will see you guys soon. This is the truth of the case. This is the truth of the case. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranha swarming around him. There we go. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. I still don't get the motive. Why would Kirumi do this? In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. Never a good thing. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank. And removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Oh, I love this song. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage <laughs> in the gym. Yeah, with them, of course. And used the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. All right. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate. I've got to, I've got to give the props to Karumi because this plan is really well constructed, despite you know being the plan of murder. At nighttime, past midnight. The culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. <laughs> Not gonna have enough time. <laughs> Again. Then they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. <laughs> and shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Of course. He drowned. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. There we go. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the 
culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. Yep. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The, the inner... the inner tube. The rubber inner tube that was yep. in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. There we go. It pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. I gotta say, the plans in this game are really intricate. Premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The inner tube and the fabric. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. Their own hand with the glove. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burning had the culprit not been wearing gloves. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Uh -huh. Not that I'm happy about this. I, w I would never be happy about this. The culprit reached the window and put Rioma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the bodies separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. Yeah. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. And the inner tube went to the pool. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Not their desired outcome. I still don't get it though. Was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence. The fabric they couldn't reach. Oh, sorry. Because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. But yeah, can you imagine if Kirumi didn't make those mistakes? Would have been the perfect fucking crime. Story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Why, Kirumi? No! Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? Why? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. To end like this. Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi, why use your own gloves though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. Shut! So, it's decided. This was decided the moment someone who shall not be named their big mouth. We don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Hey, right. No need to worry. Hey, Monotem. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. 
very bad, very bad comparison. Having. Well, let's move on. Alright, who let's vote. Rumi. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Like Rumi, I still don't get it. Whoa, someone voted for me! Huh? Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Who you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? Someone voted for Shuichi, I saw that. It was probably Kurumi, actually. There it is, Kurumi. Oh boy, here we go. Class trial is over. I'll rise. And I have around either 15 or 20 more minutes. Actually, actually I have 24, 25 more minutes. I think, wait. Oh, I got an A, that's pretty good. Somehow, I got an A. Don't ask me how. Wait, no, I have 15 more minutes. That's, that's right, yeah. Oof. Kurumi, why? That's my... my... You all voted correctly! What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome! The blackened who killed Ryoma Hoshi is Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! Ah! Yay! Bravo! Bravo! Oh, I'm not feeling good at all. Yeah, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again! There's nothing good about this at all! Why? Why did it have to be Kirumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No but Gonto no can believe it. Gonto was so helpful for everyone. Yeah. Saying Kirumi is also culprit. Hey, hey! How long have you been lying to us? The truth is... Is that why you took such good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? Uh... You mean she's not my mom? Kogichi, shut the fuck up. Hey! She was never your fucking mom! Damn it. Hey, Kirumi, tell me, why? You were always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self centered creatures! <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forests we call home, they pollute the rivers we drink from. I'll never forgive humans! No. But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Enough with the commentary already! Say... Well, Kirumi, were your feeling towards us simply another falsehood? How? No! It can't be! Say it ain't so! That was just another lie, too? No. I don't think so. I still believe Kirumi cares about us. What? How would you know? I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can say for certain. That is what a detective would say. Um... Kirumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? You mean like from the motive video? So Kirumi watched hers after all. Um... Earlier, Kirumi had mentioned that she had accepted the request. Perhaps that request came from a... Uh, from a... A, a someone important... An... 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 an someone important... <laughs> <sighs> came from someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? You have nothing to say for yourself. I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you will regret what you have to, what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already, otherwise we can't accept this outcome. Please! Please kill me. Tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please. Very well then, if you are so if you're all so desperate to know. I shall take that request. 
I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then! You better just tell us the truth, please and thank you! Yes. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your was exactly right. The reason I married Ryoma was because of what I saw in the Moda video. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? <laughs> Alright, fess up! Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you! What are you saying? Why would the one raising the hand need to close their eyes? May I? That would be necessary. I would, did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? They, hey. Perhaps Kurumi received her own motive video. Huh? Huh? Do you mean, you mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yeah. No one had my motive video but me, the video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. The fuck's going on? That's not possible! Monokuma, what the hell's going on? Huh? Hmm? You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched, what does that mean exactly? Mm -hmm. You don't play them, you're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. no I didn't! Uh -huh. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh... Um. Oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Not supposed to. Dumbass. It's all an Ophany's fault. She bested them out without checking the names. What? I didn't know. Monotaro should have checked the names too. Wait a minute. I don't even remember passing out any videos. It was my fault. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No, Mana, damn it. Well, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all our fault. I'm sorry, too. Ah, it seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy. Daddy. Hey. It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Thank goodness. What, what the hell is in this mushy feel-good crap? You're, You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. Sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring uh, con conversation. I see, see the Monokuts merely distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving the hand video was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey. What was in your What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt that everyone will believe it. If that's the case, why don't we all watch the Moda video together? Right. Yes, that, sh that would be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. How thorough of you. Yet I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the, tr the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your eyes. After Kurumi had, had spoken, the Monokas began playing the video. Alright. Alright! Back by popular demand, it's time for the Moda video! Who is the most important person? in your life and now without further ado kirumi tojo the ultimate maid with clients in politics and finance this elite maid is renowned for completing any request okay one fateful day she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients the prime minister wow the prime minister had a request of most importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He oh. asked Kirumi to make this country great again. Oh, not again. And transferred all his authority to her. Excuse me? No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. What? Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important oh. people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> oh, God. I can see why she did it now. Huh? It can't be. What? 
What? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you saw, you just saw is true. Though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remember? Wait. Please, hold on! That video is true? That's ridiculous! There's no way Kirumi is really the Prime Min- I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maiden, the most important people to me. This is my selfless devotion. By the citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. Wow! As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. Wow, that's impressive. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me. Because this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. I see. I see, so Kirumi was a real prime minister running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be prime minister? I think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human even though he's a heartless robot. How rude! How rude! I'm not pretending! I'm still learning! I see. Uh, I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible. I was aware of Kirumi's impressive talents with Prime Minister. And Kirumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of country's future? The noted video aside, Kirumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Hey, hey, I get that Kirumi is really important, but what was that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I, I don't know, actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um, With our memories lost. That's... Wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? Ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented, unprecedented crisis facing the nation? Um... If that's true, how are they connected? What is this ultimate hunt, anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening to the nation while I am here inside the anvil. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know what that the most important people in my life were safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I am, I am, because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. If so. So you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But... If those are the options, of course you'd pick everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Kurumi from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. Selfishly. Selfishly. Well, what should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kurumi is dead. Why? Doesn't that mean we pretty much destroy the country? What do we do? Wait! Say, what's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? Hey, you know how many people live in this country? Like a hundred million easily. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really. Do not lie. Wow. Do not lie. Okay. Hey, I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? Nothing is beyond your power? What kind of arrogant, ridiculous? 100%. That is a hundred percent a lie. It is impossible that he could bring a disaster to a country. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to pull? That's so funny. You guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway! If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason! Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? Then cut it out! This is serious! How long are you guys gonna keep talking about Kirumi? Let's talk about Ryoma! It would be a shame to completely neglect him! That's right, we know your motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill? Weird. Ryoma not that weak. When he used his Shukuchi method, even Gonto no could catch. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Well, I can't believe I'm about to do this, guys. But I can't continue. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll continue just this once because I have more time to. I have more time later on. Whatever. I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Uh, whatever. Um, let's think this through. Think this through. Do you really want to do this? You still have time to turn back. You can finish this later. I don't like doing it, but I feel like I have no choice. Guys, I'll make a huge pause. Like, you guys have no idea how long it's going to be. 
and I'll continue this later on. It's still gonna be part of the same episode, probably, and I'm probably gonna talk a little, a little, a little, um, how should I say, a little, my voice is not gonna be as loud as now, that's all I'm gonna say. It's probably gonna be like the end of chapter one's class trial. Uh, anyways, I'll see you all in about... Yeah, nine hours. So, until then. And we are back! Um, so, remember how I said nine hours between uh, the recordings? Yeah, make that 24. I'm literally recording this the next day. I just didn't have time to, uh, yesterday when I recorded the episode itself, and I know... I know I hate doing this myself because I lose some emotional impact that might cause... that might be caused by the, the execution. Which I hate, alright? I hate losing... I hate losing... stuff like this, you know? Anyways... <clears throat> I'm still really sad, you know, because I really like Hiromi, she, she's cool, she was honestly one of my favorites, but then again, I should know better by now, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's start, oh. wow, I didn't, <sighs> let's just keep going, without that he became the weakest among us, right, he, for context, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Kirumi was saying that Ryoma was the weakest among us because he didn't have a will to live. What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um, what do you mean? That is... I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. Then I revealed my there I revealed my murder video and afterward I told him. I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. And then he responded. Got it. So, you got a reason to live. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You're... If you've got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> <sighs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then, he turned his back toward me. Oh god. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. Oh. He forfeited his life right then and there. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Oh! Lee! Shit! That is, um. Um. I don't even know what to say to that. All right. Then. Then Ryoma knew he was going to to be killed. But. Wait a minute! It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? What? Because. Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute, you're talking as if Ryoma saw that motive video. Didn't you just say that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Ah, uh, did I say that? <sighs> I'm so sick of your shit, Kokichi. Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I I can't what's your point, that he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live! Isn't that right, Maki? Why? Oh, I didn't know that. He was listening. What? It's about motive videos. Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. But if it shows something somewhat important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who'll be in that video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I've got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words. 
out. In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So please. That's true. There were, he was looking for a reason to live. Uh huh. Which, which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking cream at your body. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, I hate this. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Hey. What do you mean? What, what did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty. Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado. Okay. Oh. This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Oh, God. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. Wow. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 Wow. No one. No one was important to him? Always messing around. Th that's what he was shown? If he saw something like that. He had no men to care for and none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kirumi claim his life. I see. So, that's why. I must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet, to meet with me. It, it can't be! He just gave up then? Damn. To hell with that, that damn moron! But, but... It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. Dude, dude, that, oh my god, that's so sad. He had no one to live for? Fuck. Oh, no, man, that's, wow. Wow, man. That's why you did such a horrible thing, right, Kirumi? For too many reasons. Yes. You're afraid to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. My apologies. I wanted to live. Kirumi. <sighs> Monokuma, going to have question. You need something? Oh, what is it? Hey. Can Gonta be blackened instead of Kirumi? Huh? What? Gonta. Gonta, not smart boy. But even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. Kirumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Um. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kirumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kirumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on their shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kirumi's survival would result in fewer casual casual casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez. Jeez. Maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. If Kirumi survives, then the nation's future will be secure. Then what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? W was I wrong? I shouldn't have... Shuichi. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my psychic, then suck it up! Huh? What? Hey. That goes for all of you. The hell with all this value of life shit. Right. Life's not just something. You can't trade or put a price on it. Kaito? Listen up. Your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, and even your neighbors. It's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. Kaito is such a fucking bro, man. 
As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course. So I'm not just... I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. Jeez. Maybe it's time again. But he's right. I mean, you're right too. He's an he is an idiot, but he's right. So divine. Yep, he's an too a damned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up. Hey, shut up! I told you to stop calling me an idiot. Right. Maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kurumi certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? huh? Shaken? Oh god. Because? Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kurumi would give up so easily? Of course not! In fact, she probably still hasn't given up, even now! <laughs> she oh my fucking god, what is that face? She was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place! Huh? What? But Monokuma would never allow a black to escape punishment, so maybe she wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that as a cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kurumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable cretin I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet you allowed me to explain anyway. Wow. Hirumi just put into words what I feel for him. You little wo You- You fucking what? He's a- He's a <sighs> I've said it at the beginning of the investigation, I'll say it again. I have never felt this kind of hatred toward any character, be it real or fictional. Huh? Wait, what he just said was true? You mean... You? Try to trick Gonta? Try to trick everyone? Really? Seriously? You backstab- Whoa, whoa, okay. Cut it out. Enough! She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right, I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die! That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up! Huh? Hirumi? I see! You still refuse to give up! So what do you intend to do? You must live! I intend to live! I must survive! No matter what it takes. Wow, she's really, really determined. Sorry, I have to wipe my nose a little. I'm a little... I'm without allergies. Autumn is a really bad time of year. Anyways. If I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat carry on to survive. Jeez! We'll survive! I will do anything, anything to survive! She screamed and she started running. <coughs> Whoa, Kirumi. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a completely un undignified exit. you out of here I kind of feel bad for her it was ugly and raw and feral she just ran as fast as she could I heard my voice call out run 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 Kirumi please run. Hurry. run please hurry hurry run hey. like I said I'm not letting you leave Run! She's gonna get captured. Oh! Wow, this is different than anything I, I've ever seen up until now. This is scary. This is actually really scary. Give 
Rumi, no! I don't think we have much of a choice. Hiromi has been found guilty, time for the punishment. Oh god. Strand of Ag- Oh no! No. Oh my god. That was... <sighs> that was fucking cruel, man. There was no... Fuck! I feel awful for her! That had to be... One of these... One of the single most painful executions I have ever seen in the series. I think maybe one of the, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I think one of the executions that like most equates to the level of pain I've seen applied in this one is probably the first one in Danganronpa 1. This was just torture before death. You just die like it was nothing. Fuck. We gotta keep going. Oh god. Why Monodam? Why Monodam? Why did you kill Manosuke? Oh, he's also puking. Nice. Okay. If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterward. Manosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. We don't need him. We don't need him. We few remaining Mono Cubs must get along. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not, that. not if he knows what is good for him. <gasps> eh? This academy belongs to us. The age of the mono cubs begins now. <laughs> this guy's the true villain. <laughs> You take that rebellious tone with me, young man! That's nice. and, and yeah, that angsty attitude of yours is just so cute! You're so cute! It's so cute how your little crew has shrunk by one member! Yep, shrunk! You're not getting any larger, you know! They're so uh, I 
It's so, it's so unbearably cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. What? <laughs> Did he just die? Oh. Will you call it an ugly bitch? Stop it! It doesn't matter. Now's not the time for that. <laughs> Kirumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. You shut your fucking pie hole. Am I gonna end up like that too? I'll protect you! I won't let that happen, Himiko! I'll protect you no matter what! I'll protect you no matter what! But I don't want to do this anymore either! Please! Let's just stop this killing game! I don't care if we stay trapped here forever! Come on, come on! Oh? Huh? Isn't that what Atua said? Cause Atua says so! All desire, even your desire to escape this place can corrupt you beyond redemption! <laughs> It's Monokuma who is corrupt. He's the one who distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. Those videos were more dangerous than we thought, to have driven Kirumi that far. That's true. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirumi did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she, rage that she did, this killing game would be pure chaos, so she wanted to stop it. If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However, I'd assume Kokichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But did that not come to pass? What? What? I wonder what his intentions. Uh, I'd never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirumi said. Uh, what Kirumi said. Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. That's... What she said earlier, correct? Huh? huh? What about it? Uh, um... She said she remembered and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light if, ma if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of a flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kirumi remember something she never could have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Yeah, that's true. Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess up, mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best for that we do not remember our motives, for everyone's sake. Oh dear. Hearing, you hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. So How rude. I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. I hate you. I hate you, but I need to wipe my nose. <laughs> I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. But maybe seeing Kurumi's final moments has made me change my views. She tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe, maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A f pirate vic, a pirate victory. I think that's how it's said. Huh? We had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do you reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most, ration the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you even have a brain to use. I Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, we'll all be just fine. We, we're still missing chapters. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just... Even with all, when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. Oh? No! The game froze! <laughs> what the fuck?
Yeah, the game just froze! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. We're back, sorry. You can't believe what happened, alright? After the game crashed, I had to get this, I had to reboot my computer because I don't know what, I think a process of E3 probably continued running in the background and didn't allow me to restart the game. It was just awful. I had to reboot my whole computer and I'm recording a separate video obviously, but anyways. <laughs> what? But stars here are different. Not the same one gone to, one's gone to used to. Uh, um, different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, gone to looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away? Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on! I have to tell you guys something. I also probably had to lower the resolution, well, the quality of the graphics. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Maybe my computer can handle the very high setting. I don't know. It's still losing frames, as you can see in the background, because of the waterfall. It's a pretty game, but it's a little demanding on the computer. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Now, now, it won't take that long, so just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, what is it you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like I'm some sort of compulsive liar. You are. Get it? But that's ridiculous! There's a way worse liar than me in our group! Huh? What liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki! Huh? What? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted to her to show his show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? What? Huh? Blackmail? Um... Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity! So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, If you don't show me that in my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met up with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! Wh why you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Oh? For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, what is happening? You know, this is an interesting turn of events. Would you really... Me in front of everyone. Oh? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably stop <laughs> neck like a twig right now. What is happening? That's not your style. Uh huh? You would rather kill from the shadows. Uh huh? Right? <gasps> this ultimate assassin. What? What? Uh huh? Ultimate Assassin? That's your talent, Maki? What? That's ridiculous! That would explain a lot, actually. It, including why she didn't want us to go into her lab. Wow. That's a really cool plot twist. Oh, the chapter ends there. Ugh, two more bite the dust. Maki's the ultimate assassin? What? Oh, I got the servant's gloves. Thank you for reminding me of who died. Okay, I gotta say, this chapter was phenomenal. Uh, especially with the plot twist at the end, and I was finally able to finish it for good after like three separate videos, but oh my god, that plot twist, I was not expecting that, I was not expecting that, Miss Ultimate Assassin.
Well then, things are gonna get interesting in chapter three. Very interesting. Anyways, I think that'll be all for now. Uh, it's been a roller coaster, chapter two. Not as, not as, uh, I still think chapter one was better, but chapter two was definitely really good as well. Anyway, that'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. And if you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell, you know what to do. Also, if you want to join my Discord server for absolutely no reason at all, hit link is in the description below. Guys, until next time. Peace.